Morning Greater Late Show from the WCTV studio. I'm your host, Kana Mulroy. Wildcat Career Week continues. Be sure to check out the Virtual Career Summit website, featuring a variety of jobs and careers in our community and beyond. The website link was sent to all students on Monday, March 8th. Each day this week is a chance to win. Students who watch a video on the Virtual Summit website and submit a reflection in Pathway Manager will automatically be entered in a daily drawing for a chance to win gift cards from the Cats Cafe, Chick-fil-A, and the Student Store. If you have any questions, please reach out to Mrs. Yetter. The Pennsylvania Math League exam will be held on Tuesday, March 16th during Wildcat time in room S104. Please see Ms. Lynn in S104 if you have any questions. 9th through 12th grade vision screenings will be conducted on March 17th and 18th in the Senior High Library classroom. Students will report with their English classes. Please wear your glasses or contacts for the screening. Any student interested in entering the 25th Annual National Student Poetry Contest sponsored by the American Library of Poetry should contact Dr. Bompiani smith The deadline to enter is online is April 30th. Each student can enter one poem up to 20 lines. We go to Annie Duda for a check on the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Time for your local weather report. Today will bring rain with a high of 64 and low of 48. Friday will bring more rain with a high of 57 and low of 28. And Saturday will hopefully give us partly sunny skies with a high of 48 and low of 27. That's all for the weather. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Annie. The Wilmerton Community Pool is seeking five certified lifeguards to work part-time this summer. Applicants should be at least 16 years old and Red Cross certified or planning to be certified before Memorial Day weekend. Please see Mrs. Scala in room C104 for an application this week. Completed applicants are due on or before Friday, March 12th. In addition, if you are a lifeguard or are currently being certified, Lake Shore Pool is hiring lifeguards for the summer. Applicants should be picked up at the park department in town. Applicants are due by March 17th. Interviews will be held at the end of March. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Schmeling in the junior high room, A201. St. Anne Home has intermediate opens for full-time and part-time dietary aid. You must be available to work weekends and holidays and have a positive attitude and willingness to work. Wages based on experience up to $11.65 per hour. Visit stanthome.org for more information. Wondering what's on the menu for today? Here's Adina Pru with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Thursday, March 11th, and cooking up in the main line, we have walking tacos with golden corn. The sandwich options for today are a hamburger, cheeseburger, or a chicken patty. Today's pizza option is the homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. In the grab-and-go bar, your options for today are fresh salads or deli hoagies. The soup of the day is chicken. That's what's cooking. Back to you. Thanks, Adina. Now here's Luke Hammondy with the Wildcat Sports Report. Thanks, Caden. Here is your sports board for today. Your girls' basketball team plays the Chartier Valley Colts at their place for the semifinal game for the Class 5A Whippeal Playoffs at 6 p.m. That is all for Wildcat Sports Report. Now here's Joe Kojis with what is happening in national sports. Thanks, Luke. Good morning, Greater Latrobe. Today in national sports, there are many NBA games, most notably the Celtics and the Nets at 7.30 and the 76ers and the Bulls at 8. Over in the NHL, the Capitals score off against the Flyers at 7, and for any Pens fans, the Penguins take on the Sabres at 7 as well. That's all for national sports. Back to you, Kanan. Thanks, Joe. We go now to Abby Williams with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. For today's Wildcat News, we have President Joe Biden making a COVID relief bill. President Joe Biden plans to use this $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief bill, which is expected to pass Congress on Wednesday as a platform for a generational transformation of the economy to benefit the least well-off Americans and to alleviate poverty. Secondly, government, Governor Greg a Abbott of Texas announced last week he would be loosening restrictions meant to stop the spread of COVID-19 including doing away with the mask requirement and allowing all businesses to reopen 100% since active COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations were down to levels not seen in months. Other states are slowly beginning to follow his lead, one step closer to normal. That's all for Wildcat World News. Now here's Sophia Surge with Entertainment News. Thanks, Abby. Today in Entertainment News, the CW has announced a live-action Powerpuff Girls series. The series will follow the Powerpuff Girls who are now in their 20s and must save Townsville once again. 
The cast includes Dove Cameron as Bubbles, Chloe Bennett as Blossom, and Yana Peral as Buttercup. That's all for entertainment news. Back to you, Kanan. With scheduling approaching, sc consider set scheduling a broadcast and video production course. Here is Ben Hamity with more information. I like this class because it uh, gives you the freedom to be creative and make your own projects with not much of a limit on what you can do. I would recommend this class to someone because it's a great way to uh, be creative and there's a lot, lot of different options that you can do from working the cameras to uh, the audio and visual uh, technician and then speaking on camera as well. In broadcasting production, we use a lot of uh, editing software such as Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects to create a great video for our audience. Don't forget to schedule broadcast 1 and 2 for next year. Thanks for tuning into this edition of WCTV News. Have a great daily trope.